Hey YouTubers, uh, back again. Got a little small project today. Uh, I know I've been promised I'm working on the boat for a long time and that's coming. But the Duramax needs a little bit of attention. Uh, about three weeks ago, I noticed the rear window on the passenger side was not going up all the way and I thought, ah, I'll just take it apart. No big deal, quickly fix it. Not so much. So had to order a whole new regulator kit. Uh, went up to AutoZone and found the regulator kit from a company called Doorman and it was like $109. So I was like, ah, that's really high. So I went on Amazon, found it for $59 for the exact same one. Yeah, it took about a week to get here, but it's here. So uh, I'm gonna put it back in. I've already taken the other uh, stuff apart, but I'm gonna show you putting it back together. So that way you can kind of see kind of how complicated these Duramaxes are to work on. Actually, it's not just the Duramax, it's all the Chevy trucks. Um, they've got a cable system, and that cable system tends to fail. Uh, the more you use it, so um, and they're not repairable once they break. So, got the new one. Let's go over and take a look at it. Here's what we're looking at. Here's the old one. Um, you can see it's kind of a mess here. You've got the wind regulator here, and uh, you've got cables that this these little steel cables run through, and they go up around these little uh, pulleys, and they run down. And they pull the window up and down. You can see this is where the window mounts into. Uh, and it's just a little pinch mechanism. The window slides down and it, it grabs hold right there and it moves it up and down. So I tried to, um, you know, completely rebuild that and fix it, but uh, it just was beyond me. There's no way to really do it. So I figured go ahead and replace it. So here's the new one, made in China. I'm sure that's going to bite me in the butt sooner or later. But uh, $59 from Amazon and uh, it's a whole kit. So it comes all together with the motor. The cables, and you can see, you don't see any of the cables except for where they go up right here. Um, and they go, and then of course the window gets pinched right in here. So let's go back and look at the truck here. You'll see the lovely duct tape job that we have. Go ahead and pull that off. Pretty, huh? that I tried to keep the duct tape where it wasn't on the paint as much as I could looks like I might have failed now if you look at this you'll see the windows completely out of it there's no way to keep it in here on the track and the only way to get the actual window out you have to remove everything so this piece right here which is on the outside I'll show that to you in a minute the inside the whole rubber that goes around this right here all had to come out so once that's out, you can slide the window out fairly easy. So now we've got it all nice and clean. You see here's the inner door panel here with this stuff. Let me take this off. There we go. Once you've made room for all of this, you can actually slide your window regulator and everything in. Get this out of the way. And it's actually like 72 degrees here in February, which is nice. But the way this mounts is you've got one right here, little mounting bolts all the way around. And I forget where it is, so like right here, right here. It's been about two weeks since I've done this. So we're gonna slide the regulator in right here, which is the whole mount. And then it just kind of slides in to these little keyholes. Um, and once you get that done, um, that's kind of the hardest part besides mounting a breakable piece of glass in there that could break and cost you more money. So, I'm going to go grab that regulator, slip it in here, see how it fits. Well, you can see here, I got the regulator in. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it takes a little bit of fiddling. Uh, and I had to go back in and uh, kind of review my notes of how this thing came out. Um, like I said, basically you've got the keyholes up here. And you've got the mounting structures. There's some studs that come out right here. So you make sure you've got to get it in. It folds up so you can kind of slide it into this area. And the motor has one little bolt down here, and then it's got these four that hold it in. So I do believe we're ready for the window next, and we're gonna take and actually just kind of loosen these up a little bit. You see my wrench here is broken. Like an idiot, I used it to hammer something and broke that tab off. Good, Jay. Oh, the wrong way. It's always a pain in the butt to get it back to the opposite. Oh, come on. Yeah. Dang it. There we go. Got it. So, loosen this up. Make sure that this is open enough to accept the piece of glass. All right. 
right. I think we're ready to drop this piece of glass in because once you get the glass in, first of all, you know what? Let's test this. I'm gonna get my keys and uh, make sure that this thing has full range of motion before we go throwing the glass in there. Um, looks like it's all hooked up perfectly, but uh, once it is, I'll get a friend of mine to film and I'll show you how you drop this piece of glass in. It always kind of freaked me out before I learned how to do it. But in a past life, I did glass replacement, so you kind of never, you never forget it. So, back in a minute. All right, here's the test. I got the ignition turned on, and everything's plugged in. You notice I put the speaker ring in. Sorry for the glare. The sun is starting to set over there. Plugged in the uh, power plug, or the uh, switch. This will not work even from the master switch unless you have this plugged in. So let's just see. Ooh, look at that. Ain't that gorgeous. Sweet. I'm happy. No binding, no nothing. You gotta make sure that these little cables are routed properly in here. And that was kind of my dilemma is how to get those things completely routed right. It's a little frustrating. I had to go back and refer to, like I said, the uh, my old notes and also a diagram. But uh, like I said, I got this put on and I think we're ready to go. I'm just double checking everything. Here's the fun part, it's dropping in a very expensive piece of breakable glass. So this is what a piece of glass looks like outside the truck. All you see is from about right here up. So this is what you see that goes down inside the door. And the trick is to get it down in here, first of all without breaking it. get it into these little mounting spots. One, I guess I did not loosen these enough. All right, now the key is with these is not to tighten these little these little bumpers or the resting pads up until you're sure that everything's perfect. The travel's nice, everything like that. So it's now sitting in there and it goes up and down. So our next step is to go get the rubber that goes around here and the rubber that goes on the front here to actually position this in this track. And sometimes those things are a nightmare to get in. So we're back in a second. After looking for quite a while, I finally found the bottom piece here. It just goes in right here. Might have to adjust that a little bit. You need to roll down the window. Start snapping this in. And of course, get rid of all the duct tape and trash bag that you had up here. Now, this bottom piece, you have to it really kind of give you a hard time getting out of here. It has to fit down inside with this particular truck and it can be a royal pain in the butt. There we go, look at that, fell right in. So now you just go around and just double check and make sure that it's all in. Looks like I put this on backwards or something. Oh, this is the inside. Still gonna find the outside one. That would explain it. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go find the other. Found it, finally. One thing you always wanna to, want to do is make sure you put your stuff in the same place. That's not Jay's rule. It's gonna throw it wherever. So it just slides in just like this. Piece cake. Done. So now let's check and see if it's lined up.
So now we can tighten up the, um, the lower bolts here that hold the window in. And drop it down a little bit to make sure I have access to it. Yeah. And don't drop your tools. Just remember that these are clamping onto a piece of glass, so don't over tighten them and break it. Nice and tight. You gotta love it when it works. Now that we got the uh, window back in, window track in place, it's functioning properly, it's time to put everything back together. I know I did not show how to take these off. So we're gonna kind of do reverse order here. A lot of uh, panels that you take off actually use um, uh, like a friction clip and it's a small um, uh, pin that actually goes into a metal hole in the door. And you know, when you pull it off, they tend to get weaker and weaker over time. Well, nice thing a lot of the manufacturers have gone to is they have now more like a hook. I'll show it to you in a second on the door panel. So when you put it on there, you just, you basically just up and then drop down and then you have a couple little screws that hold it miscellaneous places so right now what i'm doing is getting this all back together um, this little kind of water um uh, what do you call it protector it keeps the, the the water from getting up into the door panel because it does run down inside the door um, and this got this little butyl rubber stuff that never hardens and it gets everywhere i'm telling you and luckily it is really hot i'm sweating like crazy in february it's like february 11th and it's just hot as can be here in Texas. So now you see this little piece right here, which is the door, the door handle. What we want to do is we got to get this thing actually to uh, slide into space, it's slot here, which it's not going to do. It's hard to do with one hand. My film assistant is not here anymore. All right, what it is, it goes in and then slides into place and there's a screw that goes right here. So back in a second, I need both my hands. Here's the back side of the door panel. Uh, you can see they've got these little hooks. So it makes it very easy to get this on and off multiple times without actually tearing up the door panel. Um, a lot of these don't work that way. Very frustrating, but this is so nice because you just drop it on. So if you need to do any audio work or you do anything like that, it makes it so easy to get it on and off and you don't end up with squeaks and rattles and stuff like that. Oh, all right, man, I'm sweating like crazy. Let's take this back out. Oh, and yes, my garage is a mess. No judgments, guys. Have not had time since my buddy replaced his wheel bearings. All right, so I gotta take this guy off, slide this on. All right, there it is, it's on. I just noticed something in the camera. A little dent in my uh, grill. It is a truck, who cares? So it's on, and then you just have a couple of screws that goes in here that holds the, um, I forget where it is, I wanna say it's underneath here. They usually put them, there it is, back inside there. Um, just holds whenever you're doing yanking on these. God, I'm sorry about the, light guys it is really crazy um so we're gonna plug this in let's so do it one hand here maybe not uh, oh this is frustrating i miss my tripod and all my stuff that i had there we go slide it back in there boom done Sure it's down there. Let's test it. Look at that. Hey, look. It's got a reflection in the window. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be so nice. Sweet. Well, there you go, guys. All done. Wonderful, easy project that you can do yourself in your garage. A lot of people are scared to work with windows and wind regulators and all that kind of stuff like that. There's no reason to. Uh, it's very, very simple. Oh, gosh. And here she sits. She needs a lot of maintenance, guys. I hope to be able to do some a lot sooner. The um, 
axle shafts, the boots are broken. Um, they've got to be replaced. I'm going to replace the whole axle shaft. I've got a rear seal back here that's bad. I'm going to go ahead and do both sides. I'll make sure I videotape all of that. And she needs a cleaning so bad. I've been very lazy with this poor truck. I want her back to where she needs to be. Kind of ashamed how dirty she is. Once again, guys, you can see a fairly easy job to do by yourself, um, unless you're having somebody film you. <laughs> um, but uh, it is done, and it's nice now that I don't have to drive around with uh, duct tape and plastic bag on the back window. Um, hope you like the video. If you do, make sure you like the video, share it, uh, make sure people can see you know that it is that simple to replace. Um, I'll see you next time. Hopefully get back on the Glastron soon. Um, it's weird that February we're here at 72 degrees and wonderful, wonderful weather. Uh, hope to be on the lake soon and flying across in a uh, CVX-18. Talk to you soon. Bye guys.